afternoon, Dr. Bali. Good afternoon. Can you introduce yourself to the audience, please? Yes, I'm uh, Professor Dr. Bali Hamdi Abdel Haq. I'm a professor in the Minya University, professor of ENT in Minya University. Okay, welcome. Doctor, what do you think about Rhino Egypt this year? Oh, it was a fantastic meeting, and actually every year is getting more and more better. And actually, it's becoming now the, the biggest uh, uh, subspeciality conference in the Middle East even, because we have reached uh, uh, maybe audience more than 1,000 like that. And actually, we, uh, we are getting more and more and more better with uh, Professor Dr. Rida Kamel. And uh, uh, actually, we are a group and teamwork together. We are all working to improve the conference year by year, inshallah. So, uh, what are you going to present this year, or what did you present? Uh, actually, I have presented already uh, a talk about the uh, uh, epistaxis. This is about, uh, the talk is uh, uh, sphenopalatine artery ligation, especially in children, pediatric uh, uh, population. And uh, uh, actually, we have some recommendations, which is uh, to be more confirmed by other larger studies, like uh, uh, for severe epistaxis in children, which is not responding to the uh, medical treatment and the conservative treatment in, in the form of anterior and posterior nasal packing. We have to go to the uh, sphenobalatine artery ligation and actually to know the source of bleeding, whether the sphenobalatine artery or the anterior ethmoidal artery. Uh, we have already found in 12 cases of patients that uh, 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 in about 91% of cases, we have the sphenobalatine artery is more than four millimeter thickness. And the, uh, in, in, in just uh, uh, one or two cases, the sphenobalatine artery is less than four millimeters. So our recommendation is that when you are exploring the sphenobalatine artery, maybe a the thickness is a predictor for whether this is the artery for bleeding or not. If we found it more than four millimeter, we can cauterize easily. If it is less than four millimeter, we have to search another source of bleeding like the anterior mother artery. Thank you so much.